Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmosso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. It is your purchase and pricing email concierge for inquiring about the price, condition, and accessories of this or any Watchbox watch. Email me for pricing at tmosso at thewatchbox.com. Launched in 2009, this is the Breguet Classique 7337. 39 millimeters in yellow gold. It's based on the prior and smaller Breguet 3337, both of them, of dial at least, based on the design of the historic Breguet number 3833 pocket watch. So this is a moon phase with a day and a date in yellow gold, 39 millimeters in diameter, 10.1 millimeters thick, and 47.5 millimeters from lug tip to lug tip. The watch includes a spacing between the lugs of 20 millimeters, and you can see on my wrist, 16 centimeters in circumference, it wears quite easily. Uh, the watch is compact, there's no doubt about that. It's bigger than the old 3337, but you can see how easily it fits underneath the cuff. And being narrow across the wrist at 47.5 millimeters, I can recommend it for a wrist as small as 13 centimeters in circumference, so this is a unisex option. The timepiece is designed to fit underneath the cuff, any cuff, a dress cuff. This is a formal watch and designed to be worn with handsome attire. Taking a quick look at the strap, you can see it's a medium brown, large rectangular scale alligator leather with a gloss finish. It is bolstered to give it some thickness. It has sheer cut sides showing the layers of leather. There's a monotone stitch and then calfskin on the bottom. And as you can see, this is a brand new Breguet factory strap. We have a Breguet deployant clasp in matching yellow gold. And as you can see, it's a single fold, all of high polish with a little bit of knurling on the outside edge that matches the coining of the case profile. So the case is handcrafted. The sides are cold rolled to create this coining and then hand finished. The lugs, old school, are welded on. So they're not machined or stamped like this. They're welded on and then evidence of the weld is removed manually. The strap is held to the case using screws and bars on both sides. An upscale and slightly more expensive alternative to spring bars that makes the watch more secure on the wrist. There are pusher adjusters for the calendar system and we have a Breguet B on the crown which is narrow, knurled, and polished on its outer face. The bezel features a little bit of a lip at its edge, and the case back features the same that helps to define the internal channel of the case band. The dial is made of solid gold, so it's a solid gold disc. It's then turned on a rose lathe in order to create the guilloche patterns you see. So outboard we have a caille de poisson, or a fish scale. Then we have a dental pattern, les dents inboard where we have the concentric rings and note that the spacing and size of these three concentric dental rings they're actually quite different from the outboard to the middle to the inboard we then have a metallic brushed base for the hour track and then inboard we have a basket weave pattern and then a sole or sunburst and all of that is done by hand using a 19th century rose lathe that Breguet has many of these in house so the dial once it's cut using a rose lathe on the solid gold disc it's then galvanized this silver white color we have fired steel hands Breguet style for the hours and minutes you can see there are a little gold cabochon outboard of the Roman numerals those little cabochon are applied to the dial they're made of solid gold we have have apertures for the day, the date, as well as the moon and age of the moon. So we have the moon phase display. And the watch, of course, features the little engraved Breguet secret signature down flanking six o'clock. Guilloche ma at the base of the dial simply means traditional hand guilloche. Now I can demonstrate a little bit how some of this works. I'll advance so you can watch the date and the day advance as the watch operates. That's how that works turn it all over and you could see a Piguet P71 heavily modified by Breguet and hand finished and regulated. So the Piguet P71 is an ultra thin three quarter style rotor movement made by Frédéric Piguet which is part of the Swatch group generally associated with Blancpain. Piguet also makes this base the P71 for Breguet which then creates the movement 502.3 which you see right here. So this is the 502.3 it's an automatic wonder it has a 45 hour power reserve it beats away 
at 21,600 vibrations per hour. It pivots on 35 joules. It's adjusted in five positions, which is the high horology and chronometer standard. You can see that the rotor has also been cut on a guilloche with a lovely pyramid hobnail. And then we'll take a closer look at this movement, which features a free sprung balance, which is a modern modification to the movement by Breguet for greater adjustment, precision, and durability against shock. And then it also features an anti-magnetic silicon hairspring, so the watch is not susceptible to magnets that you may find in your computer or your stereo or your personal devices. All of this is 30 meters water resistant, so splashes only, no submergence. You can see that there are lovely Geneva waves across the bridges and plates, black polished screws with chamfered slots and circumference. There is engine turning or perlage on the base plate. Then if you look carefully, you can see that there is mirrored anglage on the edge of the bridges. This is a handsomely hand-finished movement. If this watch were made by F.P. Journ, it would cost multiples of what it does. Handcrafted case, hand-finished and regulated movement, handcrafted solid gold dial. That's a winner. Open your mind and don't chase the big brands. Names may not come any bigger than Breguet in the watch industry, but Breguet the brand, as opposed to Breguet the man, is hugely underrated. Reach out to tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.